hi there so in this video I'm going to show you how to use fix asset manager in QuickBooks so first thing open your company account from the list click on this ok button and it should load the home page for you on your screen it may take some time depending on if there are any backup or so now the next thing I want to discuss is fix assets so you buy some of the electronics furniture or items that are depreciated over a period of time and now uh, when you're filing your taxes such assets are considered and some reimbursements are offered to the person who is making use of these items okay so we are going to add some of such items and for that we will go to list and then check fix asset item list now increase this window and here you find everything looks empty now you can add the item into your fix assets by going to the bottom and here you have to select new okay now here my asset name is a laptop Lenovo idea pad okay and I have to associate this with some form of account so I'm going to create a new by checking this list okay and here I'm going to add electronics and computers okay you can make this add sub account let's say sub account of furniture and equipment or accumulated depreciation choose furniture and equipment if you want or you can leave it as is okay now next thing you can write seven clothes and here you have to add description for this I'm going to add a laptop next thing is you can add other description like PO number serial number warranty expiration etc okay now the cost can be mentioned here as well so I'm gonna add cost here okay and once you're done with this you can click on ok okay so you need to have a budget state okay so I'm gonna add that into let's say okay all right so I purchased it on 2015 at the price of 29,000 click on ok and it gets added similarly you can edit this or you can simply add another item into this list okay so this is considered for your depreciation investment when you are filing your tax depending on your local state laws the refunds for such assets and also some of the returns will be affected for that you have to discuss with your local tax professional he can tell you better now once you add all of these assets and save them you can close by clicking on X here and you come back right here okay so this was a short video on how to add fixed asset items in your company account in QuickBooks